All right, so now we are going to have a closure of uh, this scenario on letter X. And you have not completed the questions, the two questions in Padlet. So please pause this video, go ahead and do it now because that is uh, a very important process of learning. Okay, please jump right to the answer. I want to know what you think. So as your class lecturers as well. So if you have completed that, let's discuss the first question. Is it legally right for the hospital to come to such a decision? Removing the manual ventilation, which is the life support that Madam X needs to prolong her life. But in this case, it is just to prolong her life artificially. Eh? So the hospitals can cease treatment if they think it's fertile because uh, life is being prolonged artificially. And in this case, an independent doctor, which is a palliative expert, was consulted and the case was also referred to the hospital ethics committee, which is the right thing to do. So it is legally right. So for this case, the consent from patient or the family members is not necessary when the doctor concerned is certain about the fertility of life support. Some of you may be surprised to hear this, but if you could recall about the uh, DNR decision making process in lesson 8, so the decision, the similarity of this is that uh, it's by the medical professionals. Yeah. So second question, on hindsight, what could have been done to avoid such dispute between the hospital and family members? Well, on hindsight, many things can have been done better. That is, if we have the hindsight, but we don't, right? So in this case, what um, could have been done is that Madam X, when she is of competent mind, and think that uh, there is no need to prolong her life artificially when she is in vegetative state, she could express that wish. And I, I think the decision making can be made a lot simpler then because uh, she has really decided. So the family members are just there to honor her wish, right? So she could have made an advanced medical directive with witness to indicate this decision. But this medical advanced medical directive, it is only valid if it's registered with the registrar of advanced medical directive. So this is a, a legal document, huh? okay? And I'm of the view that this uh, AMD, which is uh, representing the Advanced Medical Directive, complements ACP, Advanced Care Planning. Remember ACP? You learned this in the previous lesson. So the similarity of this uh, AMD and ACP, the decision maker then falls in the hand of the competent patient. All right? And that will help to reduce the dispute or even avoid the dispute in this case. Yeah.